Okay, so here we are at ClickBank.com, one of the best payment processors around. Uh, they've been around for a, whole, for a while now, and they've always paid their clients on time, every time for 14 years. So basically what ClickBank does is they just connect affiliates with vendors, people that have their own products, and uh, people that want to promote those products. So as an affiliate, you can promote somebody else's product. You've got thousands to choose from in all kinds of different categories, and you can make a bunch of money. As a vendor, if you have your own product, you can have thousands of affiliates competing and promoting your products for you um, while you share a percentage of the profits with those affiliates. So it's a great deal for anybody involved. They've got tons of different opportunities for you. Um, if you want to learn more, just click here on Learn More, and it'll kind of run you through the whole uh, affiliate gambit. But the first thing you need to do at ClickBank is just click here on the top next to Home on Sign Up. And here, you basically just put your name, uh, your street address, where you want your checks to be sent to. And then the actual, and remember to put your actual name, uh, it's your name, not your business name or alias. You're going to take these checks to the bank and cash them, so it's got to be you. Um, then put your uh, first, last name, make sure all this information is accurate. Use the email address that you actually want uh, them to send you an email to, because they're going to send you your login information. And you'll confirm that. Uh, you'll put your phone number in here so they can contact you if they need to and you just create an account nickname now with the account nickname you want to make it something easy and simple but you also don't want it to be like your name or something uh, a lot of times people will see that and it's going to show up in the URL when they click on your offer so if, if it's obvious that somebody else is getting a commission sometimes people are weird about buying I don't know some kind of like justice mechanism or something so what you want to do here is just do something generic like maybe like index 55444 or 541 or just something that doesn't really seem like a name or like some kind of like it just looks like another website code okay just kind of blends into the URL and then you'll come down here click on I have read and agree to the terms and conditions and then click submit and they're going to send you your login information so it's that simple okay once you are um, all set up with ClickBank, you can just come here to Marketplace. And here on Marketplace, you can see down here on the left side, there's all kinds of different categories. Okay, so we talked about different niches you can get into. I told you the big ones were health and fitness, um, e business, e marketing, um, dating and relationship advice, which I don't think they have an actual category for that. mobile parent, parenting and families, I don't know, not really self-help. Most of that's going to be in uh, self-help. So here you can just look and uh, see all the different categories. If you uh, clicked on e-business and e-marketing, it would just show you the, uh, the uh, most popular ones from high to low in that category. So you can check all those out. Um, but really, if you want to just find the most popular uh, products on ClickBank right now, just come here at this screen, click on this, and here we are, Truth About Ads. Okay, so we see that's the, the number one product on ClickBank. Okay, then the next one is a dating advice for men, the towel of badass, which is the uh, number one right now most popular product on ClickBank for um, dating and relationship advice for men. And then we've got a satellite direct, uh, high converting TV to PC product, and the list just goes on and on. Okay, and here's the fat loss factor, another diet diet solution program. So health and fitness is a huge niche if you can't already tell. You can also sort the results by different uh, categories, popularity, average dollar per sale, initial dollar per sale, um, basically how much you'll make per sale, um, how much most people make per sale, uh, gravity, which is really, um, it's a kind of a secret formula that ClickBank has, but gravity is more or less, a lot of it has to do with how many individual affiliates have made sales. So you can look by gravity. Popularity is probably the best. Just leave it at popularity and you can uh, just find products to promote. So here, let's say we wanted to pro promote the truth about abs. Just click on promote. And when you do that, this, this thing pops up right here. So basically, uh, what you would do is you would just put your account nickname in here. and then you would just put your tracking ID okay so if you were going to uh, promote this on several different websites 
then you may want to have individual tracking IDs just so you know uh, where the money is coming from but you don't have to do that okay that's optional so here you just click create and bam okay so now they've given us this uh, cool um, little code here this little link that you can have people click on and they'll come to your offer okay so if we click here copy that bam it goes right to truth about abs homepage uh, men click here women click here which I really like that that's kind of a cool uh, sales page they have here but you see here my um, hop equals index 391 so that means anytime somebody buys this I'm gonna get a percentage I'm gonna get 75 percent of the sale that's why we wanted to make this not like your name or something because this just looks like a little piece of code on a website it doesn't look like there's not a red flag that I'm getting a commission because you're buying okay so you can come back here um, and we can see our uh, affiliate program hop link here now one thing um, you may have noticed is this isn't a very attractive link okay like this doesn't scream click me I don't know if I click on this even if I was interested so uh, there's a couple things you can do you can actually go to a site like copy you can go to a site like tinyurl.com and you can paste that link in here and just make a custom alias so maybe like get ripped now make tiny URL okay so that one's not available somebody's already done this so let's just say for the sake of argument I'm just gonna make some I'm just gonna not have to think too much just create something really quickly just to show you the example so get the truth one 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 I don't know. That'll be available, but it's still not that attractive. But see, um, now we've got our link is actually tinyurl.com forward slash get the truth one 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 one. Okay, obviously we wouldn't want the one 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 one. But the whole point is, is this is a little uh, better than this. Okay, this doesn't look that great. Okay, so this is actually going to be a better URL. So you can use this. Tiny URL is free. Okay, it will say tiny URL. Um, you can also, if you've got your own blog, which I'll show you how to do in the next uh, video, is you can actually just create posts. You can uh, create a hyperlink where you can just say, you know, click here to learn more, and then you can put the link inside the hyperlink. So nobody ever sees this URL. They never see this, okay? So it doesn't really matter what it is, but you've got to have your own blog to be able to do that, okay? Um, there's a lot of sites like uh, Facebook and places like that and YouTube that don't let you do hyperlinks okay you have to put the straight link in so that's a situation where you would want to be able to um, have a better looking URL okay now if you do have your own domain and hosting which I'll show you how to set up in the next video then you can actually forward um, any of your domains to this URL right here okay so what you would do is uh, let's say you wanted to use Namecheap Okay, so you can just say forward name cheap domain. All kinds of information here. Just click on how do I set up a URL forwarding for a domain. It'll walk you through the process. In the next video, I'll actually show you how to set up your domain and hosting and blog. But if you're uh, not trying to get hosting and you don't want to have a blog, then you can always uh, just forward a domain so basically, if, let's say you bought your own website called, you know, the Real Truth About Abs, then you could just have that link, the Real Truth About Abs dot com. You could forward that link to this URL. So it would all end up in the same place. And the whole point of me talking to you about this is just to let you know that there's there's ways to uh, get around the fact that this link isn't that attractive. So basically, uh, real simple. You just go to ClickBank dot com. You sign up. You go to the marketplace, you find an offer, and then you just uh, click promote. You type in your unique account nickname, click create, and then take the link they give you and start putting that everywhere that you want to promote your offer. People click on that, they land on your offer, and then they buy. Okay, it's that simple. Now, 
when it comes to Facebook ads and Google ads, they're a little strict about sending people di to directly to affiliate offers. Okay, they don't really like that. Um, Google ads and Facebook ads have been known to shut down websites and shut down your ad campaigns, not websites, but your ad campaigns because they don't like this for whatever reason. There's been a lot of scammers in the past that have done a lot of crazy things. We won't get into that, but the whole point is is in the next videos I'll show you how to actually set up a blog that you can send people to. So instead of sending people directly to this, you'd send people to your blog. Okay, so you can write a review blog where you talk about the product and you talk about how great it is, maybe talk about some pros and cons, and then you send them with a link inside your blog to this URL right here. Okay, it's a lot cleaner. Okay, you're actually delivering good content first of all, which is really what the web is all about and should be about. Um, you're giving people a choice and then they can click on you know the link that takes them to your offer and sure you may lose some sales um, it's probably uh, the highest probability of making the most sales if you could send people directly to an affiliate offer if you could just send people if people will click on your ad they went directly to this URL the only problem is Facebook and Google don't like it they shut down campaigns and I don't want any of you having your campaign shut down because I told you to do something that you know may not work out for you so we just want to give you full disclosure on that you can try it out uh, proceed at your own risk you might make a good amount of money for a little while but once they catch on they, they may shut your account down and it's totally random okay if you know anything about Facebook or Google they don't have the best customer service so it's really hard to get a hold of people when they do shut your account down so my idea is just you know begin with the end in mind don't you know don't violate terms of service and I'll show you where to find their terms of service where you can look more into this type of stuff but just stay legit and things will work out for you you're still gonna make sales you're gonna make a lot of money you just have to do it right and trust me once you start getting the traffic to your blog if you've got a nice well-written post then you're gonna be in good shape so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video